The Iron Thor is an amazing handheld. Literally everyone loves this thing, including your weird aunt. But did you know that it's like 10 times better when you get it set up the best way? You can have Emulation Station for browsing your games up top and a lovely companion app running on the bottom to show big full game art. And this down here is also a launcher where you can launch your apps at any time. And you can even set it up so all this opens with the push of a button. It's easy, it's fun, people will like you better if you have this, especially girls, and I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's only going to take two minutes if you can believe that. I can't believe it. Let's get a timer going. Two minutes. And go. To do this, you're going to need three apps. ESDE, which I show you how to install in this video, you can get that on their Patreon page. You'll also need the ESDE companion app, and you'll need an app called Majolner. Install ESDE the normal way. I'm not going to go into detail here. Watch my guide if you need help. Just install it and go through the setup, add your games, scrape your art, and just get it all ready. I'm assuming you've already installed the emulators and stuff too. If you don't, then yeah, my video. Link below. Once you have ESDE installed and working good, you can install ESDE Companion. Install the APK and launch it from your bottom screen. You may need to search for it because the Thor is weird with showing apps down here. The first time that you run it, you'll be greeted by a quick setup. Click start, then you'll need to grant storage permission, then you'll need to select the scripts folder, which is in the ESDE folder that you made when you set that up, then you'll need to create the script files, so select create scripts, then you'll need to select the downloaded media folder from your ESDE folder. Go ahead and do that. Now you need to enable scripts in ESDE itself, so open that and press start to open the main menu and go down to other settings and turn on custom event scripts and turn on browsing custom events. Then go back to ESDE companion and click OK, I, I did it. And you're done here. You can run ESDE on the top screen and run the companion app down here and that'll do the companion app stuff on the bottom screen. Nice. But we want to have a button to open this stuff. And for that, we're going to need to use Majolner. Install that and open it. Start the Majolner Home Launcher Setup and grant notification permission and then enable the accessibility service. And select Majolner and turn on Use Majolner and then click Enable Home button. When that's done, you should be able to click on the home settings of the menu, pick ESDE as the top screen app and ESDE Companion as the bottom screen app and that's it. You're done. Yay! Yay. Now, at any time, you can press the home button on your device and you'll automatically be taken to ESDE on the top screen with the companion app on the bottom screen. You can navigate your games and see the art down here. At any time, you can swipe up on the bottom screen to get to an app launcher. There's other settings in here too that you can explore and tinker with. Not going to show you that because I've got a hot date with Blades of Steel. I'm TechDweeb, thanks for watching, bye bye